So I'm going to show the Minishell project. We are going to run the Minishell on our Linux system. We are going to use the version 1.0 branch. It's the last latest version. Um, and the first thing that we are going to do is to clone the project on our Linux system. branch so we need to change to our version 1.0 branch okay now we are in our desired version desired branch so we need to make sure that we are in a in a Linux system because this is a shell based on Unix. Uh, we need to check if we have the requirements. And then we can start installing our project. So we are going to run make install. Make. And now we are ready to go. We can execute this uh, this software here, this executable here, and our shell is our prompt is here. So we can execute, for example, some command. make sure that our shell is running some examples here for example this command here so we are in this in this directory right now we can execute commands with arguments We can also execute the last command that was executed using this this command here. So our last command was ls with this argument. Another example here. We can use uh, output and input redirection. So we are going to use this example here. To make sure that our <coughs> text file has this content we use the this command cat so our our text file that was created here has this content that was redirected by our our main shell and we can use uh, input redirection too so we are going to redirect the input of the command cat from this hello world text. So the, the result is the same as expected. We can use to uh, communication via pipeline. So
we can, for example, has a, I will create an example file, an example txt file. Okay, so we open the vim here. Okay, I will save this file, get example file txt. So our file has this content and now I'm going to uh, use this example file to check the pipeline function of our Show. Basically, I will use the cat command with pipeline to sort and redirect the output to sorted example file text txt and then uh, also I will redirect to grab C in order to select only a specific a specific uh, line here, this this line. Basically, uh, our mini shell allows us to redirect our output even in intermediate commands and keep the the flow to pipelines too. So we can do we can save the intermediate results. So we are going to check that right now. So it's expected to print this line. So as expected, the line was print was printed, and now we are going to check if we have this file here that must must have been created. Let's check its content. So as expected, it's it's sorted. A B C D E F G. A B C D E F G. So it's sorted as expected. Now we'll exit, and that's it.